How's it going guys? Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox video. Now today's video guys is very, very important. So I'm going to get into this one straight away. If you guys have the Row Searcher plugin installed, so you could either have it on Chrome, Firefox or Microsoft Edge, uninstall it right away. Literally go over to the plugin, go ahead and remove it from Chrome. As you guys can see, I don't even have it added in the first place. And I'm sure you're wondering, what is this video about? Why am I telling people to uninstall the Row Searcher extension? or plugin? Well, the thing is, guys, it's actually a virus. Well, kind of. It's a little bit dodgy, right? Apparently, this plugin has been sending players to random Roblox games. It's been stealing people's accounts, stealing people's limiteds. Yeah, some really dodgy stuff is going on, so let me get into it. Roblox RTC was actually talking about Row Searcher only a few minutes ago, and so they said the popular plugin Row Searcher has been wiped off the Chrome Web Store for the second time within the last year. If you don't know what Row Searcher is, basically, it's a Chrome extension that lets you join any Roblox player. For an example, let's say you're a massive fan of Creecraft. Maybe he's playing a random Roblox game, but his join settings are set to private. Maybe you really want to join him, right? Maybe you're a fan of his videos. Well, basically, what you could do is add the Row Searcher plugin, and this plugin would help you find what server Creek was in. Now, honestly, guys, I don't really think it works anymore. I think Roblox have updated the server list, so Row Searcher doesn't really work properly. But yeah, it keeps on getting banned. Fake versions keep on popping up. I don't know about this extension, it's really dodgy. Anyway, back onto the main subject of today's video because I was reading the replies and I saw this message from Christian who said, this is a fake version though, do your research for F sake. They took it down because all it did was take your account and limited or any valuable stuff on there. The original version is still up. Now I'm not really too sure what this guy's talking about because this original version right here or the one he posted anyway, I'm pretty sure this one is also a scam. I don't think there's any legitimate Legit row searcher plugins still running. Yeah, so check out this, guys. There's some more proof from Ox Defend. He said, Shark Blocks, I found a row searcher extension which works as it should, but there's an extra file in the extension that looks at information and checks your inventory for smalls and sends trades. This guy provided loads of proof in the screenshots of the code, and it just looks so dodgy, guys. I noticed this thing here, blockslink.com. What the heck is that? It's really strange, actually. I tried to go to this website, I thought it was like a fake Roblox scam or something but it turns out it was like this PowerPoint thing, presentation website, I don't really know. None of the websites seem to really work properly anyway. So that's a bit strange, but yeah, definitely looks dodgy. Is that two-factor authentication for stealing people's accounts? I don't know. There was stuff here about collectibles, limiteds, looking for smalls, you know, trying to steal them. Very, very dodgy stuff. And there's even more stuff about trades, about sending them and stuff like that. I guess they set up a bot to like steal people's limiteds. Don't trust this extension anymore, honestly. So yeah, like I was saying, if you have this version of Row Searcher installed, make sure to delete it. I also went to the support page and I noticed somebody said stop logging sending posts to a fake blocks link. Definitely some weird stuff going on with this fake plugin. I can't actually remember the name of the guy which made the original version, but this thing here, I don't even think it's made by the right person. I don't know guys, I don't trust this at all. Make sure you be very careful when you install random plugins off the Google Chrome web store. So there we have it guys, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. If you have this plugin installed, Installed, make sure to delete it because I'm pretty sure the ones on the store right now are the fake ones. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.